Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Welcome to Shark Week. If you've seen our previous documentary series episodes of Tangs and Surgeon Fish, you'll hear me mention one of their greatest predators lurking in the shadows of the reef. Today, we're diving deep into the world of reef sharks. Apex predators that make any fish on the reef speed away through those caves and crevices, fending for their life. This is All About Shark Week Edition. And we're starting with the hunters that rule the very reefs our favorite saltwater fish call home. Surgeon fish use their incredible agility to dart through the reef structure to escape predators. But what's when they have a tough time outrunning? The answer lies in many years of evolution, a predator-prey relationship that has shaped both species into these incredible animals we see today. Meet the gray reef shark, black tips, and white tips reef sharks. Three species that have been hunting tangs along the reef for as long as we know. The gray reef shark is perfectly built for reef hunting. Growing up to six feet long, these sharks patrol the reef edges where tangs will go to graze on algae. The black tips and white tips take a different approach. Smaller, but more agile. They hunt in the shallow reef zones where tangs will go to feel safe from harm. Little do they know what's lurking around the corner. These species of shark are perfectly adapted for hunting reef fish how do they do it so efficiently? If you recall, sharks can hunt panicking fish using an extrasensory gland. This is referred to as electroreception, one of nature's most sophisticated hunting tools. The jelly-filled pores in their snouts, called ampullae of Lorazini, can detect electrical fields as weak as 5 nanovolts per centimeter. To put that in perspective, that's like detecting a AA battery from a thousand miles away. When a tank panics, maybe it's been separated from a school or cornered by a predator, its nervous system fires rapidly, creating those electrical signals that reef sharks can detect. According to research from Seattle Aquarium, black tip reef sharks can also detect one part of fish flesh in about 10 billion parts of seawater. That's like finding a drop of blood in an Olympic sized swimming pool. Reef sharks don't just rely on their senses, they're tactical hunters. Research from the Living Planet Aquarium shows the black tip reef sharks often hunt in small groups, working together to corral schools of fish into tight balls. This feeding frenzy often results in sharks literally leaping out of the water to catch prey trying to escape, a behavior that would make any tang's worst nightmare come true. Gray reef sharks take a different approach. They patrol the reef edges, especially during dawn and dusk when tangs are more active. These sharks use the reef structure itself as a hunting ground. This is why you see tangs evolving into quick and agile fish around the reef itself. It's literally a life or death game of hide and seek. Now you might think these sharks are just mindless killers, but they're actually essential to reef health. According to the research published in PMC Journal on coral reef predators, reef sharks maintain the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Studies show that reefs without sharks often become overrun with herbivorous fish, leading to overgrazing and coral damage. But with sharks present, fish populations remain balanced, allowing corals to thrive. Research from Defenders of Wildlife found direct connections between the loss of sharks and the loss of healthy coral reefs. Remove the sharks and the entire system can collapse. Unfortunately, reef sharks face the same threat as tangs do, overfishing, habitat destruction, and climate change. An additional issue is the shark fin trade. Research from Science Direct shows that shark densities at fished islands are dramatically lowered than protected areas. Some populations can be decimated in just a few months of intensive fishing. Good news, marine protected areas work. In Hawaii, where both yellow tanks and reef sharks are protected, populations are showing signs of recovery. Over 70% of the yellow tanks natural range is now protected from collection and fishing, and that protection extends to their predators too. So what does this predator-prey relationship mean for us as saltwater hobbyists? Understanding these natural behaviors helps us create better environments for our tangs. Those caves and crevices I always recommend, they're not just a cool look. The instincts of a tang are built around that. When your tang darts into a cave when the lights first turn on, or when it hides during feeding time before coming out, when it defends itself against an aggressive tank mate, that's the same instincts that keep tangs alive today on the reef. The relationship between reef sharks and surgeon fish perfectly demonstrate the incredible complexity of coral reef ecosystems. Every species from the smallest cleaner fish to the largest predator plays a crucial role. 
But reef sharks aren't the only predators in these waters. There are hunters so large and powerful that even reef sharks become prey. Next time on our Shark Week series, we'll explore the apex predators that rule the open ocean, the tigers of the sea. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Shark Week 2025 is just getting started.